27-year-old Aiden Clark, who was killed when a minivan driven by a Haitian immigrant who was in the U.S. legally struck a school bus in Springfield, Ohio, is speaking out. He's calling out Donald Trump and J.D. Vance for using his son's death as a political talking point. I wish that my son, Aiden Clark, was killed by a 60-year-old white man. I bet you never thought anyone would ever say something so blunt. But if that guy killed my 11-year-old son, the incessant group of hate-spewing people would leave us alone. The last thing that we need is to have the worst day of our lives violently and constantly shoved in our faces. But even that's not good enough for them. They take it one step further. They make it seem as though our wonderful Aiden appreciates your hate that we've done to us. We have to get up here and beg them to stop. Using Aiden as a political tool is, to say the least, reprehensible for any political purpose. And speaking of morally bankrupt, politicians, Bernie Moreno, Chip Roy, J.D. Vance, and Donald Trump, they have spoken my son's name and used his death for political gain. This needs to stop now. They can vomit all the hate they want about illegal immigrants, the border crisis, and even untrue claims about fluffy pets being ravaged and eaten by community members. However, they are not allowed, nor have they ever been allowed to mention Aiden Clark from Springfield, Ohio. I will listen to them one more time to hear their apologies. To clear the air, my son Aiden Clark was not murdered. He was accidentally killed by an immigrant from Haiti. This tragedy is felt all over this community the state, and even the nation. But don't spin this towards hate. In order to live like Aiden, you need to accept everyone. Choose to shine. Make the difference. Lead the way and be the inspiration. What many people in this community and state are, and nation are doing is the opposite of what you should be doing. Sure, we have our problems here in Springfield and in the U.S., but does Aiden Clark have anything to do with that? Did you know that an 11-year-old boy could be passionate about gardening? That he could haggle for a better price at a yard sale? Did you know that he researched different cultures to better appreciate and understand people that he interacted with? Did you know that one of the worst feelings in the world is to not be able to protect your child? Even worse, we can't even protect his memory when he's gone. Please stop the hate. I said to Aiden that I would try to make a difference in his honor. This is it. Live like Aiden. Thank you.